Hi there, I'm Alan Chatney with Explore. In a previous video, we shared our work on nodal self-positioning for land-based seismic surveys. That video generated a lot of healthy discussion on the requirements for positioning accuracy in land seismic. To address these questions, we conducted a brief literature review on the question of deriving positioning accuracy from geophysical requirements and the relationship of positioning accuracy on seismic data quality. Generally speaking, most of the literature basically says that better positioning leads to better data, and these papers tended to find a point of diminishing returns on accuracy ranging from 1 meter to 5 meters in positioning error tolerances. We also found that the tolerances for source and receiver positioning accuracy are a function of a few key things, such as the spacing of receiver points and source points, and the impact of that spacing on refraction statics work, the depth to a required geophysical imaging target, the thickness of those desired imaging targets, the dip and complexity of the target itself, near surface effects, velocities within the earth, frequency content of a signal sent into the earth, and whether we are dealing with a 2D or a 3D survey. Pretty interesting stuff. We'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas on this subject, so share them down below. If you like what you saw, give us a big thumbs up, and if you'd like to engage directly, you can always contact the team at Explore.